It's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. I always say it's Nelly, like if you guys were expecting somebody else, but it's always just me. It's always going to be just me. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I have more of a how to video, more of an informational teaching kind of video, and uh, not sure where I was going with that. But yeah, today I am going to be showing you guys how to create a cut crease smoky eye or makeup eye look whatever you want to call it without having to use concealer or any fancy technique this is a super basic cut crease so if you are just starting out with makeup if you want to get into the whole cut crease trend if you want to try it out for yourself and it's never worked i think you're going to find this video very informational is that is that is that a word informative whoa <laughs> i think you're gonna find this video very um, i'm not gonna say informative just in case that's not a word either i think you're gonna find this video very useful if you want to see how i created this affordable sparkly cut crease then definitely go ahead and that's my mother then definitely go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty, so first things first, we have to go ahead and prime our lids. Today I am going in with my foundation and this is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I am going to use this foundation not only to carve my brows, but also to prime my lid. So I'm taking a concealer brush. This is from ColourPop and I am going to take it and kind of underline the brow like so and then I'm gonna bring it down <coughs> excuse me towards my lid and this is going to be my lid primer you can definitely go ahead and use a concealer you can also use a lid primer but lately I have been going in with my foundation because I feel like it looks more flawless and when the whole skin is done it looks like kind of matches just a little bit more I'm gonna go in with a little beauty blender and I'm just going to smooth it over to make sure that it is really nice and blended. You then want to go in with a translucent powder or any powder of your choice. You can also use an eyeshadow that's like a vanilla bone shade. And you are going to take this and you are going to set that lid into place using the powder. So for this particular eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using a new palette. And this is the Pro Fusion Sienna's palette. And this is what this looks like it has a ton of warm tones and yummy colors and it's really affordable you can find profusion at target i believe and maybe ulta yes i think at ulta you can also find it so we're going to go ahead and work off this palette for today i'm actually going to concentrate on showing you guys how to create a cut crease without having to use concealer without having to do the absolute most but still having the end result be a cut crease so this is going to be super easy and super beginner friendly so i'm going to go ahead and start off by taking the shade adventurous and this is a really pretty kind of transition shade it's a nice warm tone i'm taking the shade and i'm going to take it with the brush that came in the palette and i am going to work it in my crease from inner corner to outer corner now since we are going to be creating a cut crease today you definitely want to make sure that you take the color just a little bit higher than normal so what i like to do with this particular step is i actually just like to look forward so wherever my natural crease is so my crease is kind of like right about here i'm actually going to take the shade and put it just a little bit higher but even if you are taking the shade just a tiny bit higher you still want to make sure that you do not touch this shade all the way in the brow bone and i'm also going to extend the shade all the way out to make our eyes look really nice and elongated. A really good tip that you can do is go in with a champagne shade. So I'm gonna take the shade exclusive and I am actually going to put this on my brow bone and this is going to be my brow bone highlight. So I'm gonna focus this right here in the brow bone area. And since you put down that brow bone shade, now you know how far up you can take that transition shade 
and how low to keep it. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade right next to it. And this one is called Crypting, which is this one right here. As you can see, it's a little bit warmer than that first shade, but it's still in the same family, in the same color family. Also, the most important thing when creating a cut crease is just like you're making your colors darker, you also want to make sure that you make your brushes smaller. So my first brush was really nice and fluffy. Now my second brush is going to be still nice and fluffy, but it's going to be a little bit more tapered and a little bit thinner than that first brush. And this one is the Sigma. This is the E45. I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to continue to place it in the crease. You still want to be able to see that brow bone color and that first transition shade. But you also want to take this color a little bit higher than normal. So I'm first going to find the placement. So I think right about there is good. And I am just going to, again, just blend back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in that crease area. If you feel like you took that second shade just a little bit too high and you kind of covered that first transition shade, it's totally fine. All you have to do is go back in with a little bit more of that product and just blend that in once again and this is just going to diffuse the product and just kind of bring that color back. Taking a little bit more of Cryptic and I'm just going to focus this right here in the outer corner. Alrighty, so you see how you have your brow bone color, then you have your transition shade, and then you have the depth of the crease. So now I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. So look at the sizes again. So we started off with a really fluffy one, then we went down to a skinnier one, and now we're using a tiny one. I'm going to take the shade right next to it, which is called Groovy. It's a dark brown shade, and we're going to take it. And by the way, this is a Crown C528 brush, and I am going to begin to place this in my crease. So this is what's really going to start to add that definition to the crease and it's going to be our guide for where to apply our lid color. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in the outer corner. So I'm gonna take it right here and blend it in. And you want this color to again be just as intense in the inner corner as it is in the outer corner. Go back in with a little bit more of Cryptic and just re-intensify that crease shade and blend everything together just a tad bit more to really diffuse that product. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Dapper, which is this red shade. And I'm going to take the slightest amount of this and I'm going to just focus this on the crease just to kind of tie everything together and just add a little bit more of like a smokiness to the look. Now that you have your crease done, it's time to do the lid and this is what's going to really cut everything and make everything look nice and cut creasy. So today I am going to be using the Pixie, these are called Liquid Fairy Lights and I am using the shade Sunray and the shade Bare Brilliance, these two right here. Now you can definitely go in with a color from the palette but nothing really stands out. I really want something really nice and shimmery. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these two. I'm gonna start off with the shade Bare Brilliant. Definitely go in with the applicator if you are a little bit more skilled. If you have a little bit more confidence in your cut crease, then by all means, go in with the applicator and get it done. But if you're watching this video, most likely you have no idea how to do a cut crease or you're just not an expert at cut creases. Not that I'm an expert, but I do feel like I have a little bit of knowledge. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a brush to do this. Now, when picking your brush to do your cut crease, you definitely want something that's really nice and flat. And you also want something that kind of has like a rounded 
edge on the top with a little bit of a point so you see how it comes kind of like to a round then it has like a little point and then it rounds off again and this is really important because this type of brush is really going to help you get into that crease area and really carve everything out this particular brush is from Adamat Cosmetics if you don't have this brush you can use a MAC 242 and I believe Makeup Geek has a really good brush as well, but I have been loving this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get product from the actual applicator. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my mirror. Now I like to start in the inner corner. So I first place my brush in the inner corner of the eye. So right there. And that is kind of going to start to be my guide. You can also place it in the center like that and then you can look up and however far up that product goes that is could that could be your guide so now I'm just going to connect the inner corner to the piece that we did in the center and I am lightly I am not rubbing I am lightly tapping it in and really taking my time to carve out that crease area. I'm going to take a little bit more product and I'm going to work in the outer corner again. I'm just rounding the product down and following that crease that we created with that dark shadow. Now I'm gonna go in with the gold shade and I am just going to lightly apply a little bit of this in the center. And for this, I'm just gonna go in with the applicator and just kind of lightly tap it on top just to make the shade just a little bit more gold. So now I'm gonna go back in with my palette and I'm gonna take the shade Cozy, which is this dark brown right here. And I'm gonna go back in with that really teeny brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm going to put my mirror a little bit lower and I'm gonna look up and I am going to place this color right in between the shimmer shade and that dark brown shade. And that is going to just add a little bit more it's just going to intensify it and it's going to further cut the crease. Alrighty, so I did take a makeup wipe and I just wiped off the excess fallout. If you have any glitter, make sure that you wipe it off. And I also took my nail and I kind of line it up in the outer corner and I move my wipe up and that is going to create that sharp cat eye-ish look that we all no love and adore so yeah that is pretty much it for the cut crease you can also go back in and just kind of blend in the browns in the crease a little bit more make it more intense blend it in whatever you want all right you guys so this is the completed look i went ahead and i did my face off camera because honestly my routine is still the exact same thing so i thought that for today's video we will just focus on the eyes i hope you guys learned a trick maybe two when creating a cut crease. I definitely wanted to keep it as simple as possible. If you're just starting out with makeup, if the cut crease trend kind of intrigues you, I think this is a great look that you can kind of practice with and kind of learn your way around cut creases and all of that good stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to share the video with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. So that is going to do it. I love you guys and I'll see you very, very soon with a brand new video. Mwah!